All right, this is a taking a look at year sketch part two. And when we left off, we had um, imported ear sketch, we had set the tempo, we had created three variables, one for drums, one for bass, one for vocals, um, and then we had used fit media to um, initially like start and stop the um, drum, bass, and vocals where we wanted on, on which track. So now we want to take a look at some of the effects we can do um, uh, using ear sketch. So if I can go to the beginning, um, measure one, and I press play to listen. I hear my bass is kind of quiet, so what I want to do is I want to raise up the bass. So I'm going to start typing in set effect, and you'll see it'll autofill for me. I'm going to pick up this first one. So I picked set effect with four parameters, um, track, type, parameter, and value. So the track is the bass track um, right here, and you can see that is track number two. So I'm going to write track number two. The type of effect I'm going to set is volume. That's all capitals, and I can autofill that. The parameter is gain, meaning I want to um, increase the volume. And I want to increase it to, say, 6. Um, so then when we play it, our bass should be louder. Uh, oh, excuse me, before I play it, I have to run my code again. So don't forget to hit the green Run button. And you'll see all of a sudden that gain um, is set up on track 2 now. It is louder, um, but what I want to do is I want to kind of fade into the song. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use a loop. I'm going to use a for loop. So I'm going to say for i in And I'm going to create a list of one, two, and three. Um, so the reason why I chose a for loop is I want to increase the volume on all of the tracks. So track one, track two, and track three. And that's also the reason why I put one, two, and three in a list. Because I'm going to use those uh, values to increase the volume of each track. So when I hit enter, you'll notice that my cursor is indented. It's important um, in Python that after the for loop that you indent your code. Next I'm going to say set effect again. But this time I'm going to choose the set effect with extra parameters. So when it says track, I'm actually going to write in i. Why am I going to write in i? i is my iterant variable, meaning that each time it goes through the for loop. The first time it goes through the for loop, i will be equal to 1, so I can e increase the um, volume on track 1. Next time i goes through the for loop, it will be equal to 2 and then 3. So I'll be able to increase the volume on um, tracks 1, 2, and 3. Uh, that's why I'm using a for loop, and that's why I'm using um, i as the track. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the type is going to be volume again, all capital letters. Um, the parameter is going to be gain again, just like before. This time we're going to have a start value of zero. I wonder if I should use a negative number. I'm going to start with a. I'm going to try to start with zero to start quietly, and I'm going to start on the first measure. My end value is going to be. Should I go loud? I'll try nine. I'll see if that's too loud, and I'm going to and my increase on chat, uh, measure 3. So by measure 3, I shall have reached um, 9, and so the volume will plateau. Um, so this should increase the volume at the start of the song. Um, my code looks OK, so I'm going to click on Run. It says the script ran successfully, and you can see there's a volume increase on each of my tracks. Um, so let me start that over and see if I can hear that. Awesome. 
it did increase, um, so I like that. If, if I wanted it to be increased louder, I could um, adjust those numbers. Um, but that is how you use set effect, and um, also how you could use a for loop to adjust the volume of all your tracks or a certain number of tracks to try to try to fade in. Okay, um, now let's share our song. So to share our song that we just created, um, we're going to go over here to scripts, and you'll see all these scripts of the different scripts I've created. Um, the one I'm working on right now is called hourofcode.py, um, py standing for Python. So I'm going to click on this download button here, and I'm going to download it as an MP3. Um, so you can also download the script, uh, don't download it as a wave or a multi-track, but I think MP3 is um, the most versatile, so that's how I'm going to download mine. And once you've downloaded that, um, then you can share it with your classmates. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that was helpful.